much I'm gonna really use it to be honest. Yeah, see, if you try to upgrade without going in line, it's gonna give you a proximity error. Reload speed's not really that big of a deal to me. I kinda wanna get to the, uh, <laughs> get to that pretty quickly, because that's awesome. How many, what's the least about? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, that way, and uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, that way. Problem is, if I spend two, they'll be useless. So, I'll just wait for now. I'm gonna go ahead and buy that javelin gun just because it sounds so damn fun. How much is it? Wow, 11,000. Yeah, I'll totally buy it. Just because it sounds fun as shit to use. Oh, I forget to sell, huh? Probably helps if I sell some shit. Force gun is probably gonna be good later. Uh, I know in the first one they were really they really like to throw a ton of really small creatures at you. Uh, which could be really nasty. That's four, three, one. Alright. I really hate the way they do the numbers. But, um... Oh. I saw that. I saw that asshole. I hear something. The fuck? Is that something moving or is that something on the escalator? Oh, that's nice. This is like that, um, that guy from Futurama, that mutant, that mutant that's just basically a foot. Law. This is Director Titan. A stationwide emergency is in effect. In accordance with the Titan Station Civic Code, I am declaring. By the way, you can tell uh, most of these boxes don't have anything in them. Uh, these boxes with glowing lights, basically, that's the secret of Dead Space. Stuff with glowing lights equal good. Just break it up. Javelin Spears. Attention. Totally switch into the javelin gun. Let go, run, run. Okay. Just look outside here. So basically, something happened. Uh, I don't remember the cinematics uh, at the beginning. I know the one guy was talking to me, the psychiatrist. And he was saying something about. Um, he was trying to remember what my problem was. But the thing is, what I don't quite understand was, he was talking to me like he had no idea what happened on that planet. Now see, here's what I'm talking about where, um, you can use a power node, which you normally use for research, you can use it to open doors, and usually that's a good idea. 
because uh, usually there's some pretty good stuff behind these doors. And usually um, there's usually save points too. So if you find that it sucked, then you can buy it power node. Oh. Basically that was the schematic for spears, so that now I can buy spears uh, at the store. Which is good, because I just bought the spear gun. Quarterly report. Titan Station. Quarterly economic report. Classified. Authorized persons only. Do not forward or leave in an easily accessible closet. Titan Station. Unemployment grew unexpectedly to 9.5% due to collateral job losses from the ongoing collapse of local planet cracking business. The aftermath of the Ishimura incident continues to depress all planet cracking planet cracking activity as more and more support services go out of business, leaving less and less capacity for planet cracking. However, Titan Station continues to post a small profit, buoyed, buoyed slowly, solely, by the cash influx from EarthGov's scientific research and operation facilities. Human needs and services organizations have been spared the brunt of the planet cracking collapse by the pickup and traffic with government sector. Planet cracking docks, ship services, mining supplies, and tool vendors continue to post heavy losses. However, the CEC itself has found moderate new life for its facilities in the R&D department of the government. Damn it! I always do that. So there's some pretty good stuff in here. Um, a few med packs, which is always good. Uh, schematics for the gun I just bought, or for the ammo for the gun I just bought. Earth Gov are liars. Well, it's kind of rude. Ah, this sounds really bad. Up. Oh. Stop, bitch. Oh. Right between your legs. Oh, wow. Right in the jimmy, bitch. Um, also there for a second, I don't know if you really noticed it, but um, you saw that little flying thing. Ooh. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. But um, I don't know if you noticed it, but um, there's those little flying guys. They actually land on corpses and make more of those necromorphs. So if you don't kill them, they actually make more. And I don't know if I had to kill those guys across the gateway there. I probably didn't, but I wanted to. Ow! The hell? I have no idea. Is that something up there? Uh, all right. Yeah, I'm really running low on that, so I'm switching. Oh, hell. Bunch of nail scratches and stuff. Sorry. I'm full. <laughs> He's seen better days. Now he's really seen better days. Isaac! Isaac, over here! Hey! Who are you? It's the drugs, Isaac. They gave us drugs to make us forget. 
But it's all coming. I don't know what you're talking about. Why are you calling me? Isaac! Isaac, look out! Why look out for what? No, oh, these guys. Hey, thanks, buddy. Oh. See when Stasis is low. So basically, it can recharge over time, or if I need it, I can uh, use the Stasis pack to charge it immediately. But anyway, talking, keep forgetting, keep forgetting. Um, so yeah, at the beginning, the guy was interviewing me, but he acted like he had no idea what had been happening. Ah, you asshole. Motherfucker. Bitch. Anyway, he acted like he had no idea, like, what had happened on, um, Ag Aegis, or Aegis, or whatever the hell the planet that, uh, the original Dead Space had even happened on. Which I find a little hard to believe. I guess, you know, you could go with the whole government cover-up thing. Which is possible. Man, that's a badass door. I think is that stone? The most badass door in the world. It's an Isaac door. Made out of thought you were made out of sterner stuff. Oh wait, that's a puker. That's a puker. Yeah. I don't mess around with the pukers. Those guys hurt like hell. Ah, uh, shit. Ah! Thought you'd catch me in the bathroom, bitch. Guess not. Look, just because we're in the future doesn't mean you can waste water. What the fuck was that noise? Did you hear that? I know that was not just me. Eh, oh well. Wait, was that a glowy? Isaac, stop going crazy. Oh. Eh, it's taking a shower. How nice. Oh, it's auto flush. It's flushing every time I leave. That's nice. Not that I can ever actually save anybody. Isaac sucks at saving people. And if this dryer's a rockin', don't come a knockin'. Dryer screaming. Yeah. Is there something in there? Or is Isaac just batshit insane? All right, back up to the wall. We know how this goes, Isaac. Bitch. Best get the stepping. Oh. Oh shit. 
Where you at? Switch to the force gun. Desperate times. Booyah! Oh, you like that? Oh, what do you like? Bad ow! Bro, gangsta ass niggas don't have to flex nuts. I wasn't ready to go back out there yet. Yeah. Ah. Hmm. Oh, that stopped. I think I used too much health, though. Yeah, hell yeah. I'm at a health pack. Got a little too uh, carried away there. That's one thing for sure. I'll definitely be increasing my uh, amount of health I have. Because I sure lose it really freaking quick. This difficulty. Don't come any closer. You're not gonna... I'm not opening this door for anyone. I don't care what your security clearance is or what your orders are. I'm on. I think he's in there. I'll fucking kill you if I try to get in here. I mean it. Just stay away from the door. I was trying to see if I can make him open the door. I don't think he will. Little bitch. Text log. Titan, part one. United Spacefaring Guild History Series. Titan Station, Conquering the Moon, part one of two. Planet cracking first became feasible in the ge decades following the discovery of the United Field Theory, which allowed us to control the gravi Gravitron in the same manner we were accustomed to controlling the Electron. With the advent of large-scale applications of Gravitron control, it became clear to the mining consortiums they had a new tool at hand, shock point drive.